All righty then, hold on to your gadgets. After today's tech update, we've got a call from my weekend show, The Kim Commando Show, that's just too good to skip. Today, Apple's going to unveil its much-anticipated iPhone 16. Over the years, iPhone updates have lost their excitement, but this could all change. I'm Kim Commando for Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Accelerate your AI workload today. Take a free test drive at oracle.com slash Kim. I use the word could if the rumors are true. If Apple really has revolutionary AI tech built right into the iPhone and the new iOS 18, Apple promised that this new phone will understand you better, that it's going to talk to you like a real person. It's going to take action across apps, such as an email automatically scheduling a meeting on your calendar and notifying everyone concerned. Apple says the new phone is going to learn your habits and your personality. Well, that's big time hype the stuff of science fiction. But if anyone can live up to it, it would be Apple. Also look for an even better camera and no big price increase on any of these new models. In October, we'll see new iPad minis and MacBooks. Enter to win a brand new iPhone 16 now at winfromkim.com. Hey, have you heard about The Current? It's this amazing free tech newsletter that keeps you in the loop about everything, AI, making money, and insider tips to get ahead at work and life. Everything is tech now. I can't afford to fall behind, and neither can you. In just five minutes a day, that's it. The Current makes it so easy to stay ahead without feeling overwhelmed. Join half a million people at getthecurrent.com. It's free. Don't be left behind. That's getthecurrent.com. Sign up now. Getthecurrent.com. All right, just as I promised, here's a fantastic call from my show that you've got to hear. Hey, Phil, welcome to the show. Thank you. Pleasure. I listen to you quite often. Well, thank you, sir. So, uh, what's on your mind today? Well, I recently took about a seventeen-day trip on a motorcycle with my wife, and we went down to Taylor, Arizona, and back to Oregon. Quite a trip. And during that process, we kind of got caught in some snowstorms, and uh, hotel oh, reservations boy. were no longer an option. We had to kind of camp out where we were, find a hotel there. And so I had booked through Priceline.com some hotels, and due to recent storms in Nevada and Utah, um, we just couldn't get to where we were going. And Priceline oh, and they was, still And they still charge you? Oh, yeah, yeah. I got charged for two hotel rooms that I'd ever used, and they were very unsympathetic of our condition. Uh, even the highway was blocked up for most of the night, so we couldn't have gotten north um, in Nevada to even the next destination. <laughs> so, we, well, yeah. See, and that's that's part of the problem when you book through some like Priceline dot com or Hotels dot com is that you're getting this great discounted rate, but there's no cancellation clause. I mean, I I'll tell you, we were supposed to go to Nashville. Uh, for a business trip, and my EVP, he got sick, and then I fell with the dog, and I fractured a few ribs, and so it was like, okay, well, we're not making that trip, right? Uh, And uh, Hotels.com still charged us, and there was nothing we could do with it. So let me give you some other options, okay, to getting the best deal. Yeah, that's kind of why I was calling to see what you might have for suggestion-wise. Yeah, so what you want to do is you want to use, like, kayak Expedia, Hotels.com. They're good places to start. And you find the the lowest rate at these sites, and then you can call the hotel's reservation desk directly. And many hotels will meet or beat an internet best rate when you book with them. Okay. Your other option is to wait until the day that you actually need a hotel room. And it only makes sense if you're not staying at a busy touristy town or if you're attending a convention. And that's why there's a, a couple of sites that are really good and really handy that can help out is um, like Hotel Tonight and One Night. They can help you score a deal. Now, don't forget, too, that if you're traveling around like you are on your bike, you might have a AAA membership and uh, senior government, students, military. You also qualify for discounted hotel rooms. So if you call the hotel, make sure you tell them that. And finally, the uh, you have to remember four in the afternoon. This is really important. Four in the afternoon on the day that you need a hotel room, hotels know that the odds of selling a room are pretty slim at four in the afternoon. So that's when they're going to give you rock bottom rates and some nice upgrades. And so if you're going to be traveling around and your schedule needs to be fluid, you cannot really use one of these big discounted hotel websites unless you actually know for sure you're going to make that destination 
Uh, otherwise, what you want to do is, as I mentioned, you know, call the hotel directly, find your best internet rate, and then tell them what it is. But never forget about that four in the afternoon deal because I'll tell you, uh, I was staying once in Los Angeles and it was I checked in after four and I said, hey, you know, what kind of upgrade you have? They upgraded me like to this presidential suite. It didn't even cost me anything more. And I was like, nice. I think that was out of Four Seasons, Beverly Wilshire. That was so wonderful. Anyway, four in the afternoon. So, hey, Phil, thanks for your call. I appreciate you getting through. Oh, big hugs for listening. Now, if you have a tech pickle that you want me to sort out, head over to commando.com and hit that email Kim button. I sift through every single email you send my way. Now, if you want the lowdown on the digital world every single day in your inbox, head over to getkim.com and just sign up for my free daily newsletter. You're going to love it.